Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. Now because you guys loved my guide on how to get custom charging sounds working on your phones, this world shall know I thought pain. there must be a super simple way to get custom charging animations working as well. So here you go, anytime we plug in our phones, you get something like this. Allow me to introduce myself, I am Jarvis. A virtual and yep, this method will work with near enough any video file you've got, but before we get started, if you guys like this video and want to see more awesome guides and underrated apps just like this, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, if any of you guys want to grab my live wallpapers, you can do so from my very own epic live wallpaper app. And of course, make sure to visit the request section where you can also submit your own wallpaper requests. Now in order to get this working on your devices, we need to head over to the Play Store and download the app Pika Show. This is what we're going to use to play our custom video files every time we plug in our devices. Now as a quick side note, before we get started during my testing, this only worked on my phone on the lock screen itself. However, depending on the phone that you guys are using, it could also work on your home screens as well. So just keep that in mind as you try this yourselves. Now I'm going to separate this tutorial into three levels. Level one, firstly, for those of you who want something quick and easy, and then for those of you who have a little bit more spare time, and finally, level three, you advanced level users, and each one is going to be building upon the last, so make sure you watch the full video so you don't miss a thing. Level one, the Pika app has a ton of cute animations which are ready to use straight out of the gate. From Pokemon to Naruto, there's a ton available. However, just keep in mind these are locked behind an ad wall, but there are some true gems here, and once unlocked, you don't need to watch ads to unlock them again, so it's not too bad. Now once you've found one that you like, make sure to hit the gear icon in the top right corner and allow the app all of the permissions that it needs in order to work correctly. And once ready, just tap on this tick icon, here you'll be able to apply some custom settings. Now personally, I'll adjust that play duration to make sure it's always set to loop, with the close method set to double click. And there you have it, just lock your phone and plug it into charge and as long as you don't double tap on your screen, you'll have that custom charging animation going. Now with level 2, let's add in a bit more personalization with a custom video file. For this, we're going to use that plus icon right here. Now this is going to allow us to use a custom image or video file. So just simply select one from your gallery and hit complete. Now from here, it's exactly the same as we covered in level 1. Alright, I know you want to know. How do you add in more video files to your camera roll? For this, just simply download it from a third party site. Or even easier, you can find them within other apps themselves, such as TikTok. Just simply find a video you like on TikTok, click share, and you have the option to save it directly to your phones. Now, just simply load it into the Pika Show app, and you saw it, nice and quick. But what if we wanted something that pushed the limits a bit more? Level 3, making your own custom videos and using them as your charging animations. Now for this, it uses quite a lot of steps that I've previously covered on my guide on how to turn any video into a live wallpaper, so I'll try not to repeat myself too much here, but for more details, you can always refer to it right here in the top right of your screens. But in essence, you want to grab a hold of a video file, either from your favourite movie, clip or game. Sadly, I can't show you how you can do this, but it's as simple as a quick Google search. After which, using an app like InShot or KineMaster, you want to reframe the video into about a 16 by 9 aspect ratio so it fits perfectly on your phone screens. And at this point, you can also trim it and cut together your favourite parts of the clip. Export as a final video file. And now, just simply load it into the Pika app, just like we did in level 2, and you're done. Oh, and as a quick side note, if the app doesn't start up automatically every time you restart your phones, make sure to enable the auto start option within your app settings section if you have it. And of course, if you guys want to see more underrated apps, make sure to like and subscribe. And why not check out some of my Android customization videos. See you guys next time on Into the Parkiverse.